Guanajuato. Whether he was regaling them with songs from his childhood que siempre salió corriendo. or just trying to make them smile, <laughs> Jose Padilla was a man who lived for his family. The 65-year-old father of six worked hard to build a business that could provide for his kids. And yet, on the one day he should have spent being honored by his loved ones, someone cut him down inside his own American dream. I'll never get to hear him again. Only in videos. In the midnight hour, just as Father's Day ended, Jose lies dead in a pool of blood on the kitchen floor at one of his restaurants, brazenly shot at least five times by a semi-automatic. My husband called me. I'll never forget that call, his voice. I had never heard my husband cry that way. It's a fate this Mexican immigrant never expected when he came to Los Angeles some 40 years ago with nothing but his dreams and a serious work ethic. When my dad worked, he would start like eight in the morning until like one in the morning every single day. He loved it. Four decades later, Jose is a proud father of six children, grandfather to 11 and is enjoying modest success as the owner and manager of two small family-run restaurants. However, the family always had concerns about the locations of Jose's eateries. I used to worry that he would close late at night, especially because that area is not really good. Compton and Linwood, California, the concrete jungle of South Los Angeles, where Padilla has had confrontations with criminals in the past. My dad would do whatever he had to do to protect himself and his family. He would carry a gun because there had been some occasions where they had tried robbing from him. And he was the kind of guy that would not go down without a fight. Then, just a few months before his murder, something strange happened. There was an incident where some lady came in with counterfeit money. The young woman attempts to pass off a phony $100 bill at Jose's Compton restaurant. I just told her, your bill is, it's, it's not real. I told her, don't come back with your fake bills. Next time, there will be consequences. Six weeks later, it happens again. This female went and tried to give a counterfeit bill. He told her if she didn't leave, he was going to call the cops. So basically, he scared her away. Then comes that fateful Sunday in June, Father's Day. At his daughter's insistence, Jose takes the afternoon off to spend with his family. Late that evening, Jose stops by each of his restaurant locations to collect the day's receipts. The night of the crime, my dad had closed up the other business in Compton for the night. Then he headed to his other restaurant, La Playita, across town. The store was closing, and about that time, there was an employee who was cleaning up the sidewalk out in front of the restaurant. From the west on Las Flores came three male blacks about in their 20s. Seconds later, gunfire. At the age of 65, Jose Padilla is dead. According to police, the suspects pull up and park at the curb just behind the building. Three armed men exit the vehicle. In this surveillance video provided by the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, exclusively for Crime Watch Daily, you can just make out three men in the upper left corner approaching the restaurant. So the employee came in and said, hey, there's three guys coming in. They're kind of shady. Mr. Padilla, the victim, said, well, close the door. So that employee turns to close the door, and as he's pushing the door closed, the door is, is kicked open. Like a well-choreographed military exercise, the three assailants storm the back entrance and force their way through the fortified steel screen door. The suspects pushed this door open, pressed a gun against the chest of the employee, advanced this direction, and from a, about here, shot at Mr. Padilla. He tried to take out his gun and defend his family and his employees, but these cowards came in with their guns and they didn't give him a chance. Mr. Padilla was hit several times. He stumbled to the ground and died. If you look closely, you can see the suspects exit the building and make a run to the getaway car. After the suspects fled this building, they got into a waiting car where there was a driver behind the wheel. The car's a 1998 to a 2004 silver or gray four-door Cadillac Seville. This is actually the surveillance video of the suspect's car cruising off into the night, never to be seen again.
Police say the shooting was premeditated and that Jose Padilla was a target for reasons unknown to the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. We don't believe that this was a random act of violence. There's some strong circumstantial evidence that we have that leads us to believe that this was a pre-planned event. Everything police know about this case points to something far more sinister than a routine robbery. What struck us as unusual is the speed with which the suspects entered and began shooting. From the time the suspects entered the restaurant to when there were shots fired was less than five seconds. Who were these hitmen? And did they have anything to do with the counterfeiters Jose snubbed in the past? We've delved deeply into his personal life and his business life, and it doesn't appear to be anything extraordinary that would indicate why he would have been targeted. Cops are still on the lookout for four fugitives responsible for the senseless murder of Jose Padilla. What we have to do is we have to look at prior incidents that occurred either at the restaurant or to the family and see is there something connected to those incidents that made someone want to murder. Forensics and ballistic experts were able to gather some critical evidence, which cops hope they can later match with any persons of interest. Since we began the investigation, we haven't received any investigative leads. We know there were at least four people involved in this. There is absolutely no way that the people that were involved in this murder told no one. It's just not possible. For the Padilla family, Father's Day now holds a tragic new significance. They took our father, they took our rock, they took our everything. They pretty much destroyed our lives. Que siempre salió corriendo. It's been hard every day that goes by. The pain never goes away.